Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this spin background effect for music videos using Filmora 12. This is so cool effect for music videos, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys this is the clip I used to create our effect, so first we need to roto brush him, so I duplicate this layer like this. Then I hide this bottom layer for now, after that go to the AI tools, and open the smart cutout. Then I draw the selection around him, and track the selection like this. After that add some edge thickness and feathers you like. Then click save. Ok now our roto brush part is done. Then unhide our background layer. Ok now we need to create our spin effect. For that go to the effects tab, select video effects, select blur. Then select rotate blur, and add it to our background layer. Then go to the effects settings, and select the angle. When you change the angle, it starts to rotate. Also here you can see it automatically fills the empty areas as well, so it's so much helpful. Ok, let's create our rotate effect, so I select here on the timeline, and create a keyframe on the angle, then go a few seconds forward, and change it to 360 degrees. Ok, now it looks like this. Then we need to adjust this rotate blur, so I select here on the layer, then change the blur intensity to 0, and create a keyframe. Then go to the few seconds forward, like the center between these keyframes, and I change the blur intensity to something 8, then go to the end, and change it to 0 again. Ok, here's what it looks like. So now I like to add a warp look to our background layer, so I drag my roto brush layer to the fourth layer. Then I select distortion in the video effects tab, and I select this fisheye reverse effect, and add it to the timeline like this. Ok, now we need to adjust some settings in this effect, so go to the effects settings, and I change the strength to 100, and range to something 55. So this effect gives a great look to our spin effect, so I recommend using this, also if you need to change this rotation style, select our background layer, and go to the effect settings, then change the blur center X and Y like this. These two settings help to change our background spin direction, and it gives a great look to our effect. So guys finally I like to add a shake effect at the end of this effect. For that I select this extreme effect, and add it here, then I take 5 frames long part on this layer. After that go to the effects settings, and change the frequency to 300, change position X and Y to 0, change position Z to 10, and I keep these two to default. Ok guys our spin background effect is done, here's the result. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this, and please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.